This lens implant, the Clearview 3 lens, is today, in my opinion, the best performing lens for presbyopia correction. Let me update you on our patient's experience with the Clearview 3 multifocal lens, which I used in my patients between April and October of 2024. These patients wanted premium cataract surgery or lens replacement surgery to enable them to see far, mid, and near without glasses and without halos that some other multifocal lenses give at nighttime. And the design of this lens held that promise to give full range of focus with great nighttime vision. In 2024, I published six videos about the early success and enthusiasm that many of our patients were experiencing with their vision with the Clearview 3 lens. And then subsequently, I published a few videos showing that some patients were actually becoming dissatisfied with their quality of vision with the Clearview 3 lens. So here's what I learned after placing 210 Clearview 3 multifocal lens implants. It works well for about 87% of patients. And in this 87% group, they see all distances far, mid and near clearly, without glasses, comfortably, great quality of vision, day and night, and minimal nighttime artifacts. The problem is that 13% of Clearview 3 patients find their vision unsatisfactory. What is it that they describe about their vision that makes them unsatisfied? There are about three things. Number one, about 10% of the unsatisfied patients will actually say they don't like their vision at night. They get distracting visual artifacts, flares, wings around lights, halos around lights. Even though the Clearview 3 lens is designed without concentric rings like other multifocal lens, patients still, some of them will describe unsatisfactory quality of vision at nighttime. That's about 10% of the unsatisfied patients. The other 90% of the unsatisfied patients describe problems up close. They'll say their vision up close is doubled, blurry, or shadowed. Now on examination, most of these patients with the Clearview 3 lenses actually test very well. Their unaided vision, this is vision without glasses, is usually 2020 to 2025 far away and 2020 to 2030 up close. So they test very well, but they are fairly emphatic about the quality of vision issues. And it's to a degree where if I ask them, can you live with this? They go, I do not want to live with these side effects. I need this problem or these symptoms that I'm experiencing resolved. So as of the date of the filming of this video, which is February 1st, 2025, out of the 210 Clearview 3 lenses that I have personally placed in my patients, I have removed or within the next month will remove a total of 28 of these 210 Clearview 3 lenses, which is 13%, which in my opinion, is way too high. So the baseline standard for the best multifocal that we've used over time is the panoptics lens, which I found had an explantation rate of about 2%. And the newer generation lenses, such as the Odyssey multifocal lens, seem to have an even lower dissatisfaction rate than the panoptics. And now we're even testing a newer lens called the Envy multifocal lens, which hopefully will give us an even lower dissatisfaction rate. Because our goal is that if we place a lens in your eye that you just like the way you see, it works. There are some minor side effects, but as long as there are minor side effects that are below a certain threshold, you'll be okay with it. But if the side effects are severe enough that they really bother you, then that's when we have to remedy that. And how do we fix the patients who are dissatisfied with their quality of vision with the Clearview 3 lens or any other 
lens implant, typically will perform intraocular lens exchange, remove the lens implant that you're unhappy with and replace it with a lens implant of a different design that will hopefully get you better quality of vision so you're happy with the way you see. There's another interesting characteristic or behavior of the Clearview 3 lens that I've observed in our patients. So there have been a few instances where a patient had a small residual refractive error. They're a little bit nearsighted or farsighted, or they had a little bit of astigmatism, which normally is easy to correct with glasses or LASIK surgery to the cornea. So what I do with these patients is I will put their prescription into a trial frame and test their vision through the trial frame with their residual prescription and go, how do you like your vision far and near? And they'll say, oh, it's good. So we do LASIK surgery with the expectation that LASIK will recreate the vision that they were seeing through their trial frames. But the interesting thing is that these patients end up still not liking their quality of vision after LASIK surgery that replicated the quality of vision while they were wearing their trial frames. So they would see good quality of vision through the trial frames, have LASIK, and then be spot on with their refraction, but not like their quality of vision. So we would do LASIK on them because they were still unhappy. We would subsequently have to perform intraocular lens exchange to get them happy. And thankfully, after these patients that had LASIK and were unhappy with their quality of vision, those who underwent the intraocular lens exchange, they ended up satisfied with their quality of vision. So, lessons learned. There will always be new medical devices, lens implants, and technologies that are launched into the marketplace, and we'll use these technologies. The Clearview 3 is a perfect example of an FDA-approved multifocal premium lens implant that performs well in the vast majority of patients. And if you looked at published data, you'd think, oh, it's a very safe and effective lens. And I believe it to be just that. However, it has too high of a dissatisfaction rate that my patients tell me about. And I have to be accountable to the patients that I place these technologies into. And so, with a 13% significant patient dissatisfaction rate where the only solution for these patients is to perform intraocular lens exchange, in my opinion, that's a bit too high. And so I stopped using and offering the Clearview 3 multifocal lens for my patients last year in October, 2024. I wish that story would have ended more favorably. I uh, was very enthusiastic and my patients were very enthusiastic about their results with that lens when we first used it. However, it did not stand the test of time. The good news is that for that 13% of patients who were very dissatisfied with their vision with the Clearview 3 lens, after undergoing intraocular lens exchange and removing their Clearview 3, implanting a different lens implant with a different design, ultimately these patients ended up satisfied with their quality of vision. And looking back, it took me about 200 implants over six months with direct patient feedback to me for me to make a decision about whether the lens implant would be able to be ramped up into higher volume and with a dissatisfaction rate as high as it was, it was clear to me that we couldn't proceed and continue offering the Clearview 3 lens to our patients. Now, what lens did I typically use after removing the Clearview 3 lens for these patients who are dissatisfied? I'd say the three most common lenses that I implanted were the Odyssey, the LI61AO monofocal, and more recently, the Bausch & Lohm Envy multifocal lens. And so far, those patients who elected to receive those different lenses, they were very satisfied with their ultimate outcome. <music>
Finally, let me just share that I have no financial interest in any ophthalmology company, any lens implant company. The only financial interest I have is in our own practice here, which is Austin Eye. I just share this information as a means of public education. We tell our patients that there's no perfect implant, period. The good news is that literally through the practice of medicine, we find out over time what works good, better, and best. And our goal is to always act in the best interest of our patients and to offer them the latest FDA-approved medical and surgical technology that we deem to be safe and effective for the long term. Unfortunately, it is impossible to know in advance how well a product or technology will work until we use it in practice at scale over many, many months. And we listen to the feedback that our patients give us. And despite our ability to perform safe, precise surgery 99.9% .9 of the time, some patients will still not like the way they see with some lens implants. Hence, there's no perfect lens implant. Fortunately, we are accountable to these people and we will work with them to revise their surgery, redo their surgery, perform additional surgery as needed to help them reach a point where they are satisfied ultimately with their vision. We will continue to use new technologies and new products as long as we practice medicine into the future. And we will gravitate toward technologies that work well and deliver great outcomes and happy patients. And we will move away over time from technologies that do not work as well or have what we consider to be too high a patient dissatisfaction rate. Importantly, when we perform surgery on a patient, if that patient is unhappy or dissatisfied with their visual outcome, we will care for that patient and work with them to help them achieve their best possible result one way or another. Thank you for watching. As always, have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.